Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. So today I decided we should take a look at the Aegis Reclaimer and test it out in atmosphere. Now this behemoth is the multi-crew salvaging ship, which, spoiler alert, isn't going to be fast. As always, a big shout out to my patrons if you enjoy my videos and want to help support my channel. Follow the link in the description below, it is much appreciated. So I've really been wanting to take out the, the biggest, current biggest ship that we have in 3.5, and just get a feel for what it's like to fly something of this size in atmosphere. Obviously, right now, we don't have VTOL thruster support, so it's still not 100% accurate. Plus, I still expect a little bit more balancing. But we can give the ship its atmospheric flight test and see how it feels in Alpha 3.5. So kicking off with sounds as usual, she's a lot quieter than I expected. The likelihood is it's probably due to being an industrial vehicle and maybe want to protect the pilot and the bridge crews ears so as not to damage them. Also I expect being at the front of the ship a lot of the components are at the back. The thrusters are quite far away from the cockpit so you're not going to get that immediate sound right next to you. It has a long drawn out humming kind of like a subtle roar which actually gives you the sense of mass like the power being generated is large even if not loud. The afterburner doesn't sound too overly impressive either but then you're not really going to be accelerating too fast anyway plus it's not really a ship that I would say even requires an afterburner. Now in terms of maneuverability as you would expect this ship is extremely slow. It doesn't accelerate fast and when close to the surface you're actually struggling to reach speeds of 60 meters a second. Uh, in fact, it can't even maintain its SEM speed, the uh, combat speed. If you use afterburner, it just push it another 10 to about 70 meters a second, but then immediately overheats. Uh, the roll is very slow, and I would suggest when you change direction to your instead, it does seem to make more sense. Now, the reclaimer is not supposed to be quick. The ship feels heavy, and in a way, it actually aids the pilot as well as they will not need to perform any crazy manoeuvres at high speed. Being a skilled pilot, however, will be challenging as the sheer size of the ship makes it difficult to know just where it is all the time. Maybe having help from other crew members to direct it is going to be a necessity. I do feel the biggest challenge of the Reclaimer when planet side will just be finding a place to land and actually doing so without leaving yourself on something or maybe on a, on a hillside somewhere. Now I love the Reclaimer, I can't wait till we get the salvaging career in. It's going to be ideal for space reclamation and, you know, well usable in atmosphere as well. However, I do feel like both types are going to be completely different to one another. 3.6 also brings the VTOL thrusters and as it says in the blurb on the roadmap, that hover mode will require players to focus on balancing the ship as it hovers. So the need for a skilled pilot is going to become even more apparent. Alongside weather like strong winds or low visibility, it'll just be something people will really need to focus on. You're not going to be going fast uh, needing that sort of skill. It is more just about focused, sensible maneuvers. Now, as much as the new flight model is still in its early days, I can't imagine the Reclaimer to get any quicker than it is. It will likely only become a little more challenging, but I can't wait to get some flight training in this with my AUG. Many Reclaimers will be lost. It's going to be hilarious. Anyway, do let me know what you think, guys. As usual, be sure to subscribe for more Star Citizen content. Plus, hit that like button and tick that notification bell so you know when my videos go live. Follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Ryan. And for now, I will leave you with the rest of my footage.
engines offline. Combat assist activated. Engines online. Low power to engines.